This is Nelson here from Functional Training Institute Singapore. Today I'm going to show you how to use the neck massager to effectively release your neck muscles. Now, can you come closer and look at the skeleton here? So you can see from the skeleton structure here, there are a lot of muscles connecting from your rear neck and the front neck to the shoulder girdle. So when any of these neck muscles are being restricted or tense, it will actually cause more compression to your structure, which is your cervical spine, causing more irritation as in a tingling sensation down your arm or restricted movement along your neck. It can be your SCM, which is this muscle here. It can be your scalene, this muscle there, or it can be even your levator scapulae, all this confusing your shoulder and neck movement. So in a while, I'm going to show you how to use this neck massager, which can be uh, change in different direction. What I want you to try is to use this direction first to put the closer tip behind your neck. So what we're going to do, you're going to put the two tip right below the base of your skull, the occiput here, which is the C1, cervical point number one, like this. Okay. And we're going to do four steps. The first step is to press and hold and breathe for five seconds, uh, breathe for five times then you relax. The second step, you're going to press and hold while moving your neck up and down or turns, rotate or also you can do side tilt which I'll show you in a while. The third step, you press and hold and you move up and down the handle. Finally, the fourth step, you press, you scoop downwards towards the floor. So this is how it's going to be done. I'll show you quickly. So the first step, I'm going to put a C1, cervical point number one, this way. I put it right behind, sitting on a chair very comfortably. I just press to the pressure that I can manage about 5 to 7 upon 10. I just press there, breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. You want to open your eyes, close your eyes, it's up to you. So after 5 breaths, I relax. I press again. The second step, I'm going to move my neck while holding my hand pressure. I can move my neck up and down. Inhale. Exhale, or I can turn a bit, or I can side bend a bit slowly for five breaths. The third step, I press. This time, look at my hand. I'm going to up and down, breathe in, breathe out, by scrubbing the wall up and down. I'm releasing the muscles, tissue connecting to my cervical spine up and down. Then, the fourth step, finally, I'm going to press again. This time, I pull away from my nose. So, I'm pulling in. Pulling towards you, as in pulling away from my nose. Really doing a cross section for five breaths. After that, I shift down to the next vertebrae, C2, which is about maybe one thumb distance away. So I'm going to shift down one notch. Now I'm going to show you side view this time. So from the side view, second spot, I press and hold. After five breaths, release. I press again, step. Step two, I move my neck for five breaths, or I can side bend for five breaths. Third step, I press, I shuffle my arm up and down, up and down for five breaths. The fourth step, look at my hand, I'm doing this, okay? Okay, so same thing, after that, move to the next spot. Move to the next spot, move to the next spot until you are somewhere at C5, C6 region, depending on how thick is your neck. Somewhere along here, okay, you do the same four steps. Now, after all that, you want to try, you can actually change the tip like this. So you can target more area at the same time. The closer tip is on top, the further tip is below. So showing you from the back view, it looks like this. Okay, same thing, I can hold, you can see one, two, three, four, four spot. I hold and breathe for five times. After five breaths, relax. Now I can move my neck while holding. The pressure to be five to seven upon 10, 10 being so pain, you want to do another second. So not too pain, just five to seven upon 10. The third step, I twist, twist up and down. Finally, the fourth step, I pull. Pull towards the nose, pull towards the nose, okay? So this will free up a lot of neck tension, migraine, headache, stiff neck. You'll increase your mobility, it's in flexion, extension, rotation, and lateral flexion. 
Try it out. If any question, email me at info.fti-lwz.com. Info at fti-lwz.com. Thank you for watching this video.